All right, friends. Welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Vue 3 application. So in this video, we'll be working on adding table and line editing functionality. So first of all, let me give you the final demo of what we're gonna build throughout this video so that you will have some idea. So here on this role section, we have this select option. And from here, we can change this user role from user to admin or admin to user. And that got changed and we see this beautiful touch notification. So throughout this video, we'll be building this exact thing. So now let's get started. Okay, so let me open up the code editor and let me go to user list item dot view uh, file. And first of all, we'll be adding select option over here. So let me go to that section and add select option. Select with the class of form control and here we'll be having the option like user let me save this and we have this right here instead of adding those roles manually let's define the constant and then we'll be accessing roles from that constant so const roles equals ref and inside this let's define the object name call admin and the value of one Similarly, name the user with the value of 2. And also it is good to access those uh, from our enums. But for now, let's store these as constants. And uh, now let's access those over here. So we can do v for role in roles and insert this role dot name and we got those roles right which is perfect now when someone changes this role uh, either from admin to user or user to admin then we should be performing the ajax request to change this role right so for that uh, let's listen for the change event on this select input so let's listen for the change event and call the method called change role and here we'll be passing user and event the target dot value and for that value we'll be getting from this option so value equals role dot value okay now let's define this method over here const change role will receive user as well as role and inside this we'll be performing the ajax request so before this let's create the endpoint for changing the role so let me go to web.php file and then over here let's create the route let's perform the path request and to the endpoint call api slash users and we'll receive the user and change role and for now let's go to user controller class and call the method called change role okay so now we can use that endpoint axios dot paths to the endpoint call slash api users and we'll be getting that user id from that user and then change role and inside this we'll be passing role and after successful update we'll show the beautiful toast notification uh, using toaster dot success role changed successfully now let me try this but this will not work and if i open up the console let me go to the network tab let me change the role from admin to user and we are getting 500 error and it is saying that change role doesn't exist on this controller so let's create that method so let me go to user controller and at the end let me add that method called change role and later we'll be extracting this uh, method into its own uh, controller so that user controller will remain simpler right so we'll be receiving the user and then we'll perform the update on that user so user update and we want to update role 
and we'll be getting that role from this request right so if I did a request role uh, let me sense this and we are getting that value right which is perfect and finally let's return response JSON with the success as key and the value is true now if I try this on the browser if I change this user role to user then we are seeing this beautiful touch notification but if I refresh this then we are still seeing a role as admin uh, because we need to fix that first uh, let me go to user and make sure to add uh, a role over here on this fillable property so that it will get saved to our database if I change this role to user then we are still seeing admin so we need to fix that on our UI part so let me go to user list item and over here uh, we need to add selected and inside this uh, we need to say that if this option will get selected if the user role is same as role role dot name okay now let me try this and this is working if i change this user role to admin and we see this notification if i refresh this page and this is admin as well which is perfect so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one